So you know how to add a new key for a car like the Honda Accord that only requires a VCI connection. But what if all keys are lost? Well, luckily the process is just as simple as adding a new key. I'll take you through the process step by step. So let's get started. On this vehicle, I will be using the IM608 Pro. Connect the cable to the JVCI. Then connect the other end of the cable to the OBD2 port in the vehicle. Establish a Bluetooth connection to the JVCI on your tablet. These are the only pieces of equipment you'll need for this process. You do not need the XP400 Pro for this car. So on your tablet, tap IMO and find your car. We can scan the VIN automatically or find your car, Honda, and input it manually. In this case, we are working with a Honda 2020 Accord and the key is a smart key. Push to start. Next, we can do a system check to make sure everything is working normally. This will do a system scan of all modules that affect the keys and security. The scan comes up normal. So let's select all keys lost guided. We need to turn the ignition on and off a few times. Follow the prompts on the screen. We have to make sure one original key is in the car. Is this a new model, newer than 2020? Yes. So now we can see that a key has been added successfully. Now, once it's successful, we need to synchronize the key information with the car. We do this by turning the ignition on and off a few times. Okay, so we have successfully added a key with all keys lost. Now we can check to make sure if the key works by turning the car on or unlocking and locking the doors. So let's do that real quick. Now that we're finished, we can go back to IMO learning and check to see how many keys we have. We can delete some keys, add a key, and check key information. My name is Mike, and that's all for the Honda Accord. The process takes less than five minutes. If you're interested in learning all about keys lost for Mercedes, check out our other video in this series. And if you have any trouble at all, watch our training videos on YouTube or contact Autel Support.